Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Marks, the show where people try to prove how sharp they are by predicting how thick other people can be. Now, I've roamed this land seeking average, everyday men and women and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got their head on straight and who's a goose short of a gaggle. And speaking of our players, let's meet them. Hello, Kamisha! Hi, Frank! Give it up for Kamisha! And Scott! Hello, Scott! Oh, doing a little... A little pop in there, nice. Now remember, it's do or die here on Street Smarts. The winner gets the jack, the loser gives it back. Now let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. I kicked off my travels in the Lone Star State where I was nearly bull whipped by a cowboy named Jim. I'm here in the stockyards of Fort Worth and I'm talking with... Jim Miller. Okay, Jim, what do you do here? Uh, I'm a cowboy for the Fort Worth herd. Okay, so like you uh, walk around all day kind of whipping people or what's well, the deal? Well, yeah, we whip a few, but now actually we take the Longhorns down exchange, uh, cross to exchange twice a day. The only cattle drive in America. Now you're pretty handled with uh, pretty handy oh, with the whip. Reasonably so. Oh, can we can we see you do a little whipping? Hold on, I want to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After taking a whooping, I look for Mandy. Look to Mandy for some TLC. So Mandy, where are you from? What do you do? I'm from Hastings, Minnesota. I'm a waitress right now. I'm going to school though. Now, what kind of school are you going to? Uh, massage. I'm going for massage therapy. Oh, I dropped something on the floor. I have to pick it up. I just, uh, uh. <laughs> All right. And somehow I landed in a pineapple patch where I encountered Miguel. Aloha, I'm here in the pineapple field of Wahiawa, and I'm speaking with... Miguel. Now, Miguel, what do you do here? Oh, uh, I'm a pineapple picker. Now, how do you know when they're fresh? Oh, I can just look in it, see? It's nice and yellow and not, not too dark. Okay. What's the highest level of education you completed? About six years of college. Okay. Okay, Miguel, how do I look? Oh, great. You look great. Let's pick some pineapples. Let's go, let's go to it. All right. All right. It's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess will earn you $100, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's now or never, so let's get rolling. Now, here's the first question I asked to Jim, Mandy, and Miguel. How many U.S. Senators are there in your state? So flip up your paddles there, guys. Looks like Scott's ready to go. And Kamisha, okay, we're locked in. We have a Mandy and a Jim. Now, Scott, you think Jim knows this? Yeah, yeah. Because, um, I mean, he's, he's definitely a guy down on the ranch, and I think he's, he would follow something like All that. All right, let's take a look. Political affiliation. How many U.S. Senators are there in your state? How many Senators? Four. Four, four Senators? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Scott. Jim did not know the answer. Now, Kamisha, you think Mandy can pull through for you here, right? I think Mandy's the one. Out of the three, she seems to be the brightest. Okay, so. let's take a look. Good strategy. How many U.S. Senators are there in your state? Twelve. Twelve Senators in Minnesota? Yeah. And who's your governor? Jesse Ventura. I didn't vote for him. Did you vote? <laughs> yes, I did. And who'd you vote? For someone else? Yeah, I don't remember what his name was. <laughs> She's a staunch supporter of that guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wrong answer, too. I'm sorry, Kamisha. Uh, for the correct answer, we're going to go to Miguel. How many U.S. senators are there in your state? In my state, there's two senators. Sometimes I feel there's, there's none. There's none. It doesn't seem like they're doing a lot of work. They're, you know, they're all Democrats. <laughs> Miguel knew it's two. There's two in every state. Two to a state, folks. All right, next question, guys. What famous chain did Ray Kroc own? So who knew it, guys? You think it was Jim, Mandy, or Miguel? Looks like Kamisha's ready. Okay, you're both locked in. You both went with the same answer. Looks like a little copying going on. You both went with Jim. Hey. <laughs> Kamisha, why do you think Jim knew? Well, you know, Jim's a down-home boy. I think he'd know that. All right, let's take a look, see if he knows. What famous chain did Ray Kroc own? Oh, Ray Kroc. Uh, he was, uh, made a lot of pots. You made a lot of pots. Yeah, crock pot. Crock pots. Yeah. There, that's where they got the name. Yeah, that's it. Do you own a crock pot? Do I own one? No, I don't cook at all. <laughs> you didn't seem like the crock pot kind of guy. No, I'm a McDonald's man, and that's who cooks for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he missed it, you guys. You bought that gym, yeah, and he knew. Me. I know. The, for the correct answer, which I think we all know, let's check out what Mandy had to say. What famous chain did Ray Crock own? He owned the uh, McDonald's. That's right. That's right. Wow. It is McDonald's. <laughs> That's right, it is McDonald's. That's the beauty of Jam. He's like, no, I'm a McDonald's man, and 
<laughs> yeah, okay, you thought crockpots. All right, last All right. question of the round, guys. Uh, we can get you on the board here, hopefully. Um, who is known as the pontiff? Who knew it? What do you think? Who is known as the pontiff? Do you think it was Jim, Mandy, or Miguel? What do you think, guys? Okay, all right, so uh, we're locked in, and you think we got a Mandy and Miguel. Okay, we went different here. Scott, you think Miguel's gonna get this? Yeah, because he picks pineapples. Oh, <laughs> all right, let's check it out. And maybe that's what it is. Who is known as the pontiff? The pontiff is known, I mean, is the referee who referees kicking in the football game. Oh, like punting. Right. It's the referee's watching the punting? Yeah, he's the referee. He's the pontiff. Yeah, like, right. like a ref of the punt. Yeah, he's the one that's going to watch the punter. Okay. <laughs> that's a wrong answer, Scott. I'm sorry. It was uh, wrong. Now, Kamisha, you think Mandy's going to come through for you? I think Mandy knows this. All right, this. let's find out. Who is known as the pontiff? The pontiff, that would be a chief. What chief? Chief of the police. He's the pontiff? Yeah. That is also a wrong answer. You had Mandy. She missed it, Kamisha. I'm sorry. Jim's the one who knew. The pun of folks is the Pope. The Pope. Thank you. All right. Let's recap okay. the scores at the end of the round. Who should I start with? Kamisha. <laughs> she has zero. All right. Scott also has zero. I don't know what he's laughing about. Now that we found out who knew it, stick around. We'll find out who blew it. What's Tinky Winky? I don't want to know. Oh, that's so cold. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts, folks. It's time to meet our players now. We have Kamisha here now. Kamisha, uh, I understand oh. that you put on quite a show at a bar one night. Oh, yes. You know, I, I'm a dancer, right? Okay. Friend? I'm on stage. I'm doing my thing. I'm getting jiggy with it. All okay? right. All of a sudden, you know, I'm getting this thunderous applause. Right. And I'm like, I'm good. You're but good dancer? I'm not that good. Right. All of a sudden, you know, security comes and escorts me off stage. I look, my tube top is halfway down my chest. Yeah! yeah. You know? All right. I don't go dancing much anymore. You got but. kicked out. I would have thought you would have got free drinks. Very nice. All right. Now, Scott, you have an unusual, uh, unusual way to pick up girls. Yeah. Uh, especially in one case. Tell me what you did. Oh, I was there to act like Rain Man in a fast food restaurant. <laughs> and uh, okay. so I had them going first, and I walked in and I ordered a cheeseburger right. like them. I said, yeah, definitely want a cheeseburger. Definitely want a cheeseburger. <laughs> And, they, and uh, I started running around the restaurant. I was escorted out, so I ran up Very to the nice. drive store and I went, Cheeseburger! <laughs> uh oh, time for one. The came, and I did not get the girl, so it was a big You did not get the time. girl. Oh, wow. Well, you should hang on the bars with two tops. Take your top off. off. Yeah, right. Okay. That wasn't Rain Man, that was Scott. All right. Uh, it's time to get off. your second win as we enter our next round. <laughs> Who blew it? This time we asked the same. Question, only two of our pavement professors, one answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Kamisha or Scott correctly identifies which scholar blew the question, they get 200 bucks. Yeah. Now guys, in this round, you could earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap sitting in front of you. Okay. Here's how it works. When you hear a question, you think you're discombobulate, will discombobulate your opponent, punch the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. And remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely. It's very crucial, especially in a, a whirlwind game like this. Okay, all right. Here's the first question I asked both Jim and Mandy. Oh, she's puckering at me. Okay, all right. Complete the phrase, love means never having to do what? So who blew it? Okay, okay, you're locked in pretty quick there. You both went with Jim. You're copying once again. Scott, do you think uh, you think Jim blew this, huh? Yes, I do, because I believe he is a tool monkey. So okay, <laughs> let's find out. Tool monkey. Complete the phrase, love means never having to do what? To uh, say you're sorry. There you go. What's that from? Uh, love story. <laughs> 1975. All right. Are you a big? Are you a big mushy guy inside? Do you like a, a good romantic story? Well, no, I've seen it. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Right. You seem like a big cream puff. Oh yeah. I think I could kick your butt. Well, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> you both had Jim. I'm sorry. No money for each of you. Scott's flipping. You both had Jim. Uh, we're gonna show Mandy's the one who had the uh, in it. wrong answer. Complete the phrase. Love means never having to do what. The dishes. Never having to, if you're in love, no dishes. Do the dishes. And who doesn't have to do the dishes, the guy or the girl? The girl. All right, Mandy's the one who blew that one, guys. All right, we're gonna try to get you some money, I swear. All right, here's the next question I asked to Mandy and Miguel. What's happened to you if you've been ostracized? Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Mandy or Miguel? You guys are both kind of rolling through there. Okay, Rain Man's locked in, and definitely locked. Uh, Tube definitely, Top definitely. is almost locked. Again, you're locked in, and you both went with Miguel. I don't know who's. Yeah, she's all mad. Yeah, it's like it's working so well. I know, right? the same yeah, one. All right. All right, let's take a look at Miguel's Blind clip, see if he blew it for you guys. What's it mean if you've been ostracized? It means that you have been cut off completely, out of something, out of, you know, out of place, out of. 
a family yada. So you kind of ostracized pineapples from their family members. Well, you cut it right no, off and take it away. They, they were they were made to be ostracized. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer. I'm sorry, you both had Miguel. I'm sorry. It looks like uh, Mandy's the one who blew that one, guys. He got it. You've been uh, excluded. Okay, here's the last question of round two, and we still have a scoreless tie. Here's the question I asked to Jim and Miguel. What is a catheter? Okay, let's see. Scott, you've been done. Throw it on there, Kamisha. Someone will finally get on the board. Scott, if you cannot answer the question, she gets the 200 bucks, but if you answer correctly, the money is yours. She's going to sport the cap. You only have five seconds to answer the question, and I'm going to read it again. Here we go. What is a catheter? Uh, an altar boy in church. <laughs> that is a wrong answer. Kamisha's on the board with 300 bucks, 200 bucks. Way to go. Now, guys, who do you think blew this one? Do you think it was Jim or Jim or Miguel blew this one? What do you think, Scott? Cap looks good on you. Are you uh, are you locked I'm in? I'm going to stick with Miguel. You're I'm locked in with Miguel. The grain for okay. once. Okay, let's see what happens. Miguel, what is a catheter? It, it's a catnapper. It's a catnapper. Yeah. A catheter. Someone takes a lot of naps. Yeah. It's a cat that takes a lot of naps. Okay. All right, you both had Miguel, and he blew it. Way to go, Scott. You're on the board. Kanisha, you increase your lead. The correct answer, uh, guys, I know you know this one. It's a device placed in the body to get fluid from the bladder. Yeah, very, yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's recap the scores. At the end of round two, Kamisha, $400. We finally got some action. Scott, you got 200 bucks on that last one. Nice job, nice eyebrow lifting. Now that our players think they know these thoroughbreds, we'll see who they choose to ride when we return. What is Charlton Heston the president of? Charlton Heston is the president of the hair club for men. <laughs> hair club for men, exactly. He's not only a client, he's the president. President, that's right. Welcome back. It's post time on Street Smarts, and that means it's time to saddle up and pick your pony. This time, Kanisha and Scott will each choose one of the three Savants for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks. Yeah. And to keep you on your toes, we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round. Only this time it's worth 300 bucks. Now, keep in mind, there's only one dunce remaining in the game. And in a close game like this, it's very crucial. Now, the player who is trailing chooses first. That's Scott. So, Scott, who would you like to ride out the round with? Uh, I'm going to uh, go with Miguel. You're going to go with Miguel? All right. Kamisha, how about you? I'm going with Mr. Billy Bob. Thornton, Jim. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go, to Jim. Very nice. All right, first question to Miguel for you, Scott, was in slang, what is a ghetto blaster? I think he got that right or wrong. What do you think, Scott? 300 wrong. bucks on the line. Okay, wrong. If he gets it wrong, you're gonna take the lead here, so let's find out. Miguel, in slang, what is a ghetto blaster? A ghetto blaster? It wouldn't be a fart, would it? Okay. <laughs> would it, would sure. it be? Okay. And it happens in the inner city? Oh, plenty. <laughs> to four hundred dollars a ghetto blaster is a powerful portable radio yeah. yes all right okay can meet your first question right. to jim and the uh, down, pick your jim. pony around here we go what were masters and johnson famous for that's a good idea scott Kamisha, you've been done scott put the cap up on her yeah, there it is right in front of you okay 300 bucks on the line here Kamisha. okay that's all right leave it there all right all right three bucks on the line Kamisha. I'm going to read it again. You have five okay. seconds. What were Masters and Johnson famous for? Masters and Johnson. I Two seconds. I was saying. Baby oil? I'm sorry. You're out of time. That wasn't the right answer anyway. Money goes to Scott. 300 more dollars to Scott. <laughs> nice. Scott was strong. We got it around. He's up to $800. Now, Kanisha, do you think Jim's going to get this right or wrong? Jim, I think, knows this. You think he knows I it? I think he knows okay, this. Okay. 300 bucks uh, for you if you can get it. What were Masters and Johnson famous for? Masters and Johnson were ma famous for uh, locks. For locks? Yeah. They made good locks? Yeah, good padlocks. <laughs> that is a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Kamisha. I know this is a tough one. The correct answer is studying human sexuality. That, whoa. We'll talk after the show. Also treating dysfunction and writing books on the subject. OK, Scott, next question to Miguel. If a man's been given a lethal injection, what will happen to him? Do you think Miguel got that right or wrong, buddy? You can open up a nice lead here if you uh, can predict I'm gonna, this one right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say that Miguel got it right. You think he got it right? Yep, I got the sixth sense. It's okay. Saying, uh, okay. I see dead people. All right, let's take a look. If a man's been given a lethal injection, what will happen to him? A lethal injection? He'll probably kill over. Okay. Because a lethal injection means you're going to... Yeah, it just means you're going to croak. Okay. I mean, you're passing out. You're gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> he got it right. Way to go, Scott. You're 
bucks to beginning of this round. Now you're up 700. Nice job, buddy. All right, Kamisha, you're still on this game. You, you need this for a good comeback here. Uh, to Jim, the question was, what's Tai Chi? What's Tai, tai Chi? Chi? You think Jim knew this or not? Ooh. Well, Jim's been spending a lot of time around those cows, so okay. maybe he's practicing Tai Chi. Oh. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> what's Tai Chi? Tai Chi, that's a, it, uh, that new uh, exercise program this black guy's got on TV. Right, exactly. <laughs> The, uh, the kick, the Billy Blanks. Yeah, Billy Blanks. You watch that infomercial at night? I've seen him, yeah. I've never done it, but I've seen him. I know that's what that is. Okay. That's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Kamisha. He did not know that. He thought of Tai Bo. Tai Chi is a Chinese system of martial arts, meditation, and relaxation. Okay. And she's still yelling out sex. All right. Okay. Miguel, last question uh, for, to Miguel for you, Scott. In the Commodore's hit Easy, Lionel Richie said, I'm easy. I'm easy like what? Well, I know it, uh, the answer, but I don't think Miguel does. I'm going to say it's wrong. All right, see if you can extend your lead by a thousand bucks here if you get this. In the Commodore's hit Easy, Lionel Richie said, I'm easy, I'm easy like what? Butter. <laughs> like butter? Mm -hmm. Actually, he said parquet. Oh. <laughs> That's the wrong answer. Right prediction by you, Scott. That takes you up to 1,400. Correct your answer is you know the correct answer. Easy like Sunday morning. Sunday morning. All right. Yeah. Kamisha, here's the last question of the round. It goes to you. You need this to uh, cut the lead in half, at least. What is a tadpole? A tadpole. Do you think he got that right or wrong? Jim so knows this. He got it? Let's he find out. He knows this. Jim, what is a tadpole? Tadpole is a uh, baby frog. Baby frog? Yeah. You ever catch tadpoles when you were a kid? Uh, no, I've caught frogs, not tadpoles. Did you ever grow sea monkeys in an aquarium at home, then they died and you cried for four days? Uh, no, I've never had that privilege. Yeah. Me either. <laughs> Total. Speaking of which, let's check him out. Scott, $1,400. Nice job, buddy. Kamisha, $700. Scott, huge round there. When we return, Kamisha and Scott will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Jim, Mandy, and Miguel. The Leech choose one of the Boulevard Brainiacs, predict whether they'll get it right or wrong, and make their last wager. Here's a question I asked all three. What was Norma Jean Baker also known as? So sit tight because it's time for life and death decisions as we enter our final round. The wager of death. Don't go away! <laughs> Welcome back. Is there a doctor in the house? We may need one as we enter our final round, The Wager of Death. Now. Kamisha and Scott, here's the story. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Recap of the scores, Kamisha, you got 700 bucks. Scott, you got double that at 1,400 bucks. And remember, only, only the winner will pocket the cash so everything rides on the final question. Here's the question I asked all three. What was Norma Jean Baker also known as? All right, let's get the choices. Kamisha, this is big. You can maybe stage a comeback here. Who do you want to see? I went with Mandy. Well, with Mandy. Interesting, Scott. You got the lead. Who do you want to see? My man. Miguel. You're going with Miguel. All right. Oh, well, nobody picked Jim out in Texas, so we're going to say bye to him. Now, uh, we're going to check out Kamisha's clip here. You can make a comeback. Or, uh, Kamisha, we're going to check Mandy's clip. Let's find out what she says. What was Norma Jean Baker also known as? Um, Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen? Okay, that's Mandy's response. That is a wrong answer. Now, Kamisha, you have Mandy, 700 bucks. What did you say she would do? You said wrong. Very nice. How much are you going to add to that $700, Kamisha? You're going to add 700 bucks. You went for all $1,400. We got a tie game right now. Very nice. Scott, you're in the driver's seat here. You wanted to see Miguel. Everything rides on this question. Let's take a look. What was Norma Jean Baker also known as? Norma Jean Baker was known as... Uh... Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Very good. Were you a big Marilyn fan? Oh, I thought I am still am. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Norma Jean. The Elton John song, Ken on the Wind, is about Marilyn Monroe. Now, Miguel, or uh, Scott, you have Miguel. He got it right. You have $1,400. She has $1,400. What did you say, buddy? He said wrong. Unless you wagered zero, you're going to lose the game. Scott, what did you wager of your 1400 He's a pineapple picker for crying out loud. 99 takes the 7 1. Kamisha, you win. $1,400. Way to go, Kamisha. She's the queen of the streets. We'll see you next time on Street. <laughs>